Hi, welcome to Wiesman. Today we'll be going over startup on a CU3A boiler. Once your boiler is installed and plumbed, you'll need to make the following wiring connections. Connect your outdoor temperature sensor to terminals 1 and 2 on connector X3 inside the boiler control panel. Use plug 20 on the power pump module to supply power to a single zone heating pump. To add domestic hot water, connect the domestic hot water sensor wires to the red number 5 plugs behind the boiler control. Wire your domestic hot water pump to plug 21 on the power pump module. To add a mixing valve, connect your K and bus wires to plug 145 on the EA1 module. Once the boiler is fired up, first thing you're going to want to do is change the language from German to English. To do so, you'll press the menu button, which is the button at the bottom with the three lines and the three dots. You're going to scroll down until you see a set of gears. You press OK, scroll down once, press OK, and then select American English. Once American English is accepted, we'll change the temperature unit. So we'll just scroll down until we see temperature unit, select OK, and we'll select Fahrenheit. Once your temperature unit in language has been selected, the next step is to set your room temperature set point. For heating, you can do this on the main screen of your boiler display. By using up or down, you can change the temperature you want the boiler to maintain within the residence. For this example, we'll set ours to 70 degrees. So we'll use the up arrow to get to 70, select 70 with OK. As you can see now, the temperature is set to 70. Once we do this, we can select our domestic hot water temperature set point. Once again, we'll press the menu button, scroll down to DHW, select it with OK. Go into domestic temperature set point with OK. And we'll set our domestic water temperature. For this example, I'm just going to set it to 80. Select it with OK. Once the boiler accepts it, you're good to go.